<clears throat> hello guys welcome back to this channel once again so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video guys for the past five years we have been giving the solutions with utmost accuracy so for this season also we are going to give this like this so all i need is your support guys so please do like the every video and please share that with your friends and classmates through your whatsapp college groups so that it will be helpful for them also and please subscribe our channel and watch the full video guys don't skip it because in between if i change any solution you can be able to note that so do watch full video guys so let's see the first question i hope almost all solutions are 100 percent correct but if any probability if there are any changes to be made and if it come to your notice then please give your update in the comment section guys so that we can try to sort it out but i hope almost all solutions are correct so first question which of the following is our current challenges in iot so what are the challenges in iot so if you see option a large scale of cooperation option b global heterogeneity and option c as well unknown it device configuration so all these three statements are correct regarding the challenges in iot so the answer is option d guys option d all of this is the correct answer so mark option d now let's move on to the second question second one when two iot devices wish to communicate semantic conflict in such a scenario in iot interoperability refers to what so when two iot devices wish to communicate then what is the interoperability refers to so for second question the answer is option b guys two devices having different processing and business logic so option b is the correct answer guys please share that video with your friends and classmates and that definitely like the video guys then only our videos will appear in suggestions for other students also and they will also get benefited like you so second question answer is option b guys now let's move on to the third question do watch full video guys so that you can be able to mark correct answers so third question which of the following issues needs to be addressed while solving user interoperability so that needs to be issued or uh, addressed while solving user interoperability so what are those issues guys so option a device characterization and identification and second one syntactic interoperability so the answer is option c both a and b option c is the correct answer guys so mark option c now let's move on to the fourth question fourth one state whether the following statement is true or false so what is the statement they have given guys umb core interoperability component is responsible for converting physical devices into virtually abstracted ones so so is this true or false they are given umbc that means umb core is responsible for converting physical devices into uh, virtually abstracted ones so it is absolutely false guys because it is umb adapter but they have given umb core so it is wrong and wrong statement so answer is option a false so mark option a guys false now let's move on to the fifth question fifth one what is the full form of umb in iot interoperability guys what is the full form of umb umb means option a guys universal middleware bridge universal middleware bridge so mark option a and now let's move on to the sixth question guys sixth one 
so guys before getting into the sixth question i want to make a small announcement so for introduction to iot we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs guys the exam preparation mcqs which make you exam ready so you, we are providing a huge number of 300 mcqs guys 300 mcqs it will be give, given in a google drive pdf link guys it's a very restricted link only the allowed users are accessible for this pdf so you'll get a huge number of 300 mcqs no other channel is providing this guys only our channel is doing this for the benefit of students so you are if you are unable to read whole lecture uh, videos and materials you can read this 300 mcqs which is molded in the form of mcqs the content is difficult to read but these mcqs are easy to read guys so for that's why we have prepared the 300 mcqs which is more than two years of nptl questions right so for one person it is just 300 rupees only guys last time we have put the price as 500 in order to reduce the burden on the students for one person we have reduced to 300 rupees which means one mcq one rupee so with that calculation we have reduced to 300 rupees only guys if you are only one person and if you are two to five persons you can combinedly take it for 500 rupees guys so try to form a group with your classmates or friends so that the individual price will be reduced on each person right even if you are one person no need to worry guys because we are reduced the price for you specially so for one person it is just 300 only guys for now so if you want this you can message me to this email id i will give the email id same id in the description box as well as in the comment section so with five years of nptl experience we have provided these solutions guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for so already many students have taken out pack guys and they have got benefited so many people scored very good marks nearly 75 to 80 percent marks they have scored with our mcqs pack guys so i hope for this year also it will be repeating so already many students started taking for this season also guys so the benefit if you take it now itself is if you start preparing from now itself you can be able to score good marks and also you can be able to have time for other subjects in the end guys so now itself take the pack so that you can get more time to prepare for other subjects also and there is another pack it is youtube membership pack here you will get only 100 plus mcqs but the price is also less only guys it is 89 rupees but it is only available in video format not pdf so it is only for one person and for one month so if you want this youtube membership uh, 100 plus mcqs you have to join our channel for just 89 rupees only guys so if you want this 100 mcqs video you can directly go to our channel page guys no need to message me so you can search s kumar edu in the search box so our page will appear like this so beside the subscribe button there is join button right so click on this join button and a window will be appear like this so select the second one 89 per month pack that is videos only for members so click on i mean click on this and again click on this join button and make payment guys that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all these members only videos guys here you, you can see members only videos so we have already prepared the iot part 2 and also part 1 video guys so you can get all other subject videos also for the same price guys if you buy with 89 rupees you can get all these videos for the same one 89 rupees guys no extra money needed but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcqs pdf pack because pdf is easy to prepare and easy to revise when going to the examination center also so you'll get you can cover a lot of syllabus guys which is a perfect mix for your final exam preparation so who who are registered for the exam and want to get good marks you can try this 300 mcqs pack guys because it is already proven already many students have taken our pack and got benefited from our channel so this 300 mcqs pack will cover almost all part of the syllabus guys each and every week is covered in this 300 mcqs pack in that way we have prepared the mcqs guys so definitely you can try this 300 mcqs pack for one person it is just 300 rupees and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 rupees guys so this is the email id if you want to take the pack if you want only 100 plus mcqs trial pack you can join our 89 rupees membership channel channel guys so that's it guys now let's get back to the syllabus solutions so sixth question which of the following is not not a function available in the server library for Arduino. so for sixth question guys 
so i have never found these three uh, functions guys kill command destroy command and burn function so i am going with all of these guys all these three are not functions available in server library i think guys if you feel there should be any change of solution you can pl please give your opinion in the comment section guys so I hope the solution is correct. So sixth question, I'm going with option D guys. So next seventh question. Seventh one. Arduino, you know board is open source. It is true guys. Arduino is open source, right? So mark option A guys. Next, moving on to the 8th question. 8th one. Arduino Uno board accepts which type of inputs? Which type of inputs? So for 8th question it is. If you see the first option, analog and option B, digital. So option C, both A and B is the probable solution for 8th question guys. So I am going with option c it can accept both analog and digital inputs next so ninth question arduino boards are based on which of the following microcontroller are microcontrollers so for ninth question both at mega 328 and 32u4 so both of these are Correct only guys. That means option C, both A and B is the correct answer. So mark option C. Now let's move on to the 10th question. 10th one. What is the clock speed of the Arduino Uno board? Arduino Uno board. So for 10th question, the answer is option A guys, 16 megahertz. 16 megahertz so mark option a now let's move on to the 11th question so 11th one so they have given an arduino sketch so they have asked what must be inserted in place of question marks within the second pin mode function in wide setup so if you see here So that means they are asking for uh, this one guys in place of this question mark. So for this the correct answer is option B output guys output keyword. So mark option B guys. Next moving on to the 12th question guys 12th one the verify option the verify option in the Arduino IDE checks the code for what so for 12th question the answer is option A guys it checks for compilation errors compilation errors so mark option A guys now moving on to the 13th question 13th one how many pins does the dht digital humidity and temperature sensor have so for 13th question the answer is option c four guys four pins so mark option c and next 14th question what is the function of the delay function in an Arduino program so what does this delay will do guys so it introduces a delay for the specified time so answer is option B guys and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one what does this following code snippet do servo space my servo so before getting getting to know this 
I want to once again make you remember guys. So based on the syllabus, we have prepared 300 huge number of MCQs guys. You will get that as a Google Drive access PDF. So for one person, it is 300 guys. So we have covered all the syllabus, all the week syllabus here, which is, which will make you completely exam ready and help you in the preparation for the final exam guys already many students have taken our pack and got benefited last time from our mcqs 80 percent of percent of questions have got similar to that guys so 80 percent questions uh, matched as per the feedback of the our students so for one person it is 300 rupees guys and for two to five persons it is combinedly 500 guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for so 100 percent based on nptl syllabus only guys so no extra deviations given here so you can completely take this pack and prepare better for your exam guys so no other channel is providing these many mcqs and not even materials only our channel is doing this guys in order to reduce burden on students and also pressure on students we have reduced the price from 500 rupees to just 300 only for one person guys if you are group of students from two to five persons then you can take this combinedly for 500 even more reducing the per each individual price case and there is youtube membership also if you, you can get 100 plus mcqs by joining our channel for 89 pack but it is only in video format this is a trial version guys but if you want to prepare for the final exam then take this 300 mcqs pack guys with five years of nptl experience we have prepared these solutions guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for so that i can tell you the further process how, how to make payment so that how can you get the mcqs already many students have started taking our pack guys so take it now itself so that you can get extra time for preparation and also for other subjects also so now let's get back to the final question guys so 15th question so for 15th question the answer is option c guys creates an instance of servo to use it in the arduino sketch so mark option c as correct answer for final question guys So that's it guys for this video. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely keep supporting our channel guys. Subscribe our channel. So if you want to prepare for the final exam, then take this 300 MCQs pack guys. This is the email ID. So I need your more support guys so that I can be able to do further videos for benefiting the students. So keep supporting us like this guys. And please like the video and definitely share that video with your friends guys. So that they will also get benefited for you like you so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you